Hi, yo. <clears throat> wow, talk. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm back. <laughs> it's currently 10.30, and I really have to get ready for school, so you're gonna have to see this. Don't mind the hair. Alright, squeeze them out, blah, blah, blah. Put it on my hands and put it on my face. On my form of foundation, I'm currently just using my hands to do it, but, um... That's only because I'm too lazy to get my makeup brushes because my makeup brushes are in this room and I usually get ready in my bathroom because I just couldn't be bothered. Going in with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, I'm using a lot of it. I really like it. And put it on the sides of my face, rubbing it in, rubbing it in. Okay, I usually do it on my eyes, but I don't have time today, so we're just going to skip that step. All right. Next, foundation. Like I was saying, I don't really use my brushes because they're in this room. But since I am in this room, I'll use my brushes today. But usually I just go in with my hands. So, just put like a few swipes. I don't do too much, to be honest, of foundation. I just do like... This is a skin tint anyway, so either way it's gonna look pretty natural. So I just do like a swipe here, swipe here, swipe here, swipe here, on my nose, three stripes on my forehead, and on my chin. I feel like I look high right now, but I swear to God I'm not. <laughs> and then take the brush and just rub it out. Like, I don't know why I just don't use a brush. I should just take this brush with me to the bathroom. It's a whole lot faster. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna see this item in my, um, what is it called? My haul videos I do every month, but this is just the Rare Beauty Concealer. I've been using it, and this, I love it a lot, because this is, like, I'm pretty sure the only concealer that doesn't, um, make my under eyes look creasy. So I just put it on all of my blemishes, which is a lot right now for some odd reason i've been having these same things it's not even breakouts anymore it's the f um i guess now you can call them they're just pigmentations um acne scars i guess you can say yep i'm just trying to deal with these right now i bought some new skincare recently that i want to try out i've heard good things i forgot my brushes I'm gonna take this Real Techniques um, Deluxe Crease Brush and use it for my concealer. I'm gonna just blend it out. This concealer, I find that it's a little like one shade darker than me, but I don't really mind it considering that I go above it with my powder and that kind of lightens things up to be my exact skin tone. I was going to go and exchange it, but the Sephora near me is like... 15 minutes away i'm too lazy to drive there so <laughs> yeah and then kind of blend it out use my cody hair spun powder blend my I'm gonna tap it in with my fingers just to prevent any creases because that's bound to happen because i do have like a little tiny crease in the inner corners of my eyes i'm getting old that's what it's telling me and pat it and then just set the under eyes. Alright, now I'm gonna go in my next brow pencil, the micro brow. I'm probably never gonna purchase this again because I've gone back into um, tinted brow gel and that's enough to like. Um, make my brows how I want them so and brow gel is like so much cheaper than like brow pencils so I find that that's probably more reasonable to, for me to purchase but if during um me not having a brow pencil I found myself missing it then I'll buy it but right now I'm thinking to just like not buy eyebrow pencils for a while because they take a lot longer to do to use i mean then your um brow gel because you just run it through and you're perfectly fine 
There we go. That's it. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> After I wake up, my voice is like 10 octaves deeper. And, uh, oh my god. I feel like I'm a man. <laughs> already, my voice is already... I wouldn't say deep, but it's not like a high-pitched voice either. So I don't know what this is about. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. bronzer as eyeshadow. Typical. I'm not gonna do as much of an intense eye look as I usually do because I'm running short on time. I wouldn't say my usual eye looks is intense either. The most I do is like eyeliner. I guess that's intense for me. The most I do for my eyes is like bronzer and occasionally if I feel up to I do like that you girl pink eye thing with my blush. I just put blush on my eyelids and put some highlight on there too. I usually don't like shimmers on my um, eyes and like there's no all matte eyeshadow palettes that I would actually see myself purchasing because usually all those eye all matte eyeshadow palettes are um have shades in them that I would never use and I don't want to buy an eyeshadow palette where I wouldn't use all of the shades because I find that to be um what is it called wasteful I found um Inglot through Chessie Dormanchai and she raves about the palette and she created her own on her on their um website and I also created my own and guess what my dream eyeshadow palette is like 50 bucks so i'm trying to see if i want i'm willing to purchase it or not when i run out of not not, not this when i run out of this because in theory i will use that like basically every day and it has all the shades i need in there there's a black there's kind of like a cream beige color to set my eyelids with and there are two shades of brown one is like kind of like this color and one is a deep brown that um yeah so that's all the shades i need in a daily life i don't need any colorful shades i don't use any colorful shades going with my dollar tree eyelash curler and curling my lashes i do one um, I bought a time when it comes to eyelashes because if I do both and then go back and do mascara I find that my eyelashes have already fallen so it's oh my god so it's better if I do one at a time so basically like kind of steal the deal as you can say I'm currently using the covergirl lash blast volume mascara I bought this like one or two months ago and it's already dried out. I hate this mascara. I was like, when I first was using it, I was like, oh, I like this because it is that kind of like a drier formula. But like, I didn't find this was the case with the other one though. I tried their other, the one in the green tube. It did not dry out on me as quick as this one. So I don't like this. Like... Even though it is a drier formula, it's like so hard to take off for no reason. Okay, so I already purchased like a new mascara, but that mascara is through like an online re like online per what's it called? I bought it online. There we go. I bought it online, so it's not gonna come in for like a few weeks or like a week or two. I bought it from M Cosmetics. There are um mascara i was going to purchase the glossier one but i it didn't feel right to me because of the scandal that they went through with the whole treating their black employees or people of color differently than they like treat the other employees of them makes sense i don't know how to describe it there are multiple videos talking about this i'll link some down below so you can check it out yourself but i just felt kind of disgusted and also disappointed because they are still kind of a smaller company and by them doing that it kind of hurts their business in a way again i didn't have like any product of theirs 
but at the same time i wanted to have so many products from their line from their collection because it was just so pretty and i've heard oops i heard so many good things about them but now i don't like whenever i go on there i'm just reminded of the shit that they've done and their like basic apology it wasn't great it wasn't terrible either but it wasn't great you could have done but until the person that brought this issue to light which is out of the gloss i believe i'll link their instagram and i think they have a website but i'll link their instagram down below and i think it's just so disappointing when people like when smaller brands do that or like smaller brands get into drama because you want to support them because they are a small brand but at the same time you don't feel right in your heart to do that like i was so close to buying their mascara i was like I was just thinking to myself, like, how would I justify buying this so when because of the shit that they've done? I'm just like, I really can't. So I tried to go somewhere else and find another mascara that I'm willing to try, and that was M Cosmetics. Because I've wanted to try something from Michelle Phan's makeup brand for so long. Michelle Phan's makeup brand is M Cosmetics. Like, M Cosmetics is basically like a higher-end version, if you could say, of Glossier. Because their makeup is very natural but like bumped up a level all right i'm gonna since i'm done with my eyes i'm gonna go with my setting brush my real texting setting brush and go over the pimples i don't know what's been going on with me i don't know if i'm like depressed or something because i haven't been eating for like a solid few months now and like when i do eat it's only like one meal a day max and it's just that I, and it's not even that I'm starving myself. I, it's that I'm just don't feel hungry, and I don't know if I should get that checked out because, like yesterday, what did I eat? I ate avocados and chips. That's all I ate. Um. Well, to be honest, I ate that two times. You can count that as two meals, right? <laughs> and the day before that. I, I don't know if this is a trigger warning. Warning. I mean, I'm not anorexic, but I'm just talking about how I don't, haven't been eating, but okay. Anyways, I'm going with my milk bronzer in the shade Bla Blaze. I'm pretty sure this is like pretty much going to go bad sometime soon because I've had this for so long and the expiration date is like 12, a year. So I've had this definitely for more than a year, pretty sure for like since eighth grade now, <laughs> and I'm a senior, I'm a senior, or like freshman year, so I think I should really get rid of it, but it's it's doing fine, <laughs> maybe later, like I'm trying to hold off on buying new products, not in, like with this thing, Per se, I'm just trying to find like a cream bronzer that I'll actually buy that's cruelty free, because there is a cream bronzer from Physicians Formula, but they're not cruelty free. And but I really want to try it. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I should make an excuse so I can buy that because there are no like cream bronzers I would actually buy. Maybe from like the Tarte one. There's a Tarte cream bronzer that I saw that I really did like. It was cute. It was a cute bronzer. It's like in that kind of um, mint green kind of container. Yeah. I did, I only put bronzer on my forehead. I used to do all my cheeks, but I find that takes too much time. And it's not like it shows, so I just don't do it. Oh, I forgot to put. Okay, I'm gonna forget if that ever happened because we gotta go in with my powder. Anyways. <laughs> I forgot about powdering. I was like, why is this taking so... Why is this doing, going by so quickly? It's like, I forgot a step. That's why. Going back to my powder and just patting everything down. I can't wait till I finish this powder. I'm going to be feel... I'm going to feel so accomplished. I've had this. I'm pretty sure the longest out of all of my makeup products. I'm pretty sure this is one of the OGs of my collection. If you can say that. Because I bought like a few makeup products in middle school. I bought a foundation, concealer, and powder, and mascara, and eyebrow pencil. I think that was my basics of what I needed. 
of what I got. The foundation's out of my collection. The brow pencil's definitely out of my collection. The mascara also out of my collection. This is the only thing in my collection right now that I've had since like eighth grade. Is that good? I mean, powder. Do powder expire? I don't think so, right? Do they expire? If they do, I do. Mm. I'm gonna go back to my bronzer because like, adding that powder kind of got rid of some of the bronziness. You know, I feel like I bought this at the wrong time because in middle school I bought it only because there was, I couldn't find any bronzers that was my skin tone. Not was my skin tone, but like matched my skin tone, you can say, which is disappointing, you know, but um, and I wasn't all that about cream bronzer either. I didn't know how to use it and I didn't get why they were a thing. I'm gonna get, go into my milk makeup highlighter in the shade Lit, I believe. They don't have the shade name on there, so I don't know. Okay, I like milk makeup products, but at the same time, I kind of feel weird by having them because, again, they were kind of like Glossier. They were in that scandal with the whole treating their black or like people of color employees differently in a bad way than their um, other ones, but I think... Did they do something about it? I think... Did they issue an apology? I don't remember. Oh, I think they did, and they said that they would change, just like Glossier said. So, we're just gonna have to wait until... I don't know. Like, what's... Why are... I don't get that. Like, there shouldn't even be, like, not... I want to say debate, but, like, there shouldn't be an issue with treating black or, like, people of color differently... Because they're people. We're all people. And why would you treat other people differently? I mean, in a bad way, I mean. And then going on my milk blush in the shade Quirk. And spreading that across my nose like that. Kind of visco girl kind of thing, you can say. If you are thinking about getting these, like cream products from Milk Makeup, get the mini ones because you'll never run out of these. This is a mini and I've still had these for like a year and I still haven't used it up. The blush is, I have more than that. And again, I've used it for like a year. It's crazy. Okay, now I'm going with my Milani lipstick, color statement lipstick in the shade Teddy Bear. That's how much I have left on that. I'm trying to do like a kind of a project pan, but not really. I'm just doing it so I know how much I'm using of each product every single month. And I find that to be fun. Okay, what I do with this lipstick is I go only in the inner... Or no, kind of like the, the, where the butthole lip is and just putting it on there only. There you go. I find... I don't know why I like this. I think I saw it from Robbie or Christie and I was like, wait, let me try that. And I like it. And it's caught and it's like making me use my gloss because it kind of the gloss kind of blends the thing in with your natural lips. And I don't use gloss all that often, to be honest. I don't really like lip gloss. I might have it, so I'll use it. This is the Essence Shine 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 lip gloss and then again take like a tissue let's do that to take care of some of the fallout not fallout <laughs> um the inner butthole rim thing so it doesn't get on your teeth and stuff like that i did this in like 30 minutes and usually when i do my makeup it takes me like an hour because i just procrastinate i guess <laughs> Well, I mean, that's it. I also, okay, I brought my setting spray in here, but sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. This is a good setting spray if you're looking for a setting spray. I probably won't buy a setting spray again. Wow, I look good. Oh, okay, well, that is it, you guys. Can you call this look natural? I guess in the camera, it looks very natural minus like the lip. 
that's it for the video. Again, shout out of the day would be in the description box down below.